Hey everybody, my name is Heather Finley and because it's 2017 and I'm here to do a wrap up of what I read in December, December was a very successful reading month for me. I finished, I think it was eight books in the month, which brought me to a total of 70 for the year, which I think is the most I've ever read in one year. So I'm very proud of myself on that one. Oh, Tippy, you can come join me. Maybe not. <laughs> so the first book I finished for the month was Red Love by Holly Black. This was a book that was on my reread list because I had kept them over the years because I really enjoyed this trilogy. So I am so glad I decided to go back and reread. Um, just as, like, I think I even liked it better than the first time around because it was nice to get to read them consecutively instead of as they were being published. Told the whole complete story. I love the main character, Castle. This is about a world where there is people that have the ability to do different curses on people just by touching them. So like everyone in society has to wear gloves. So the world building on this one is super interesting. Plus it's set in a mafia world, which I enjoy because I'm also writing a book set in a mafia world. So yeah, highly recommend this series. Very glad that I came back to it. And let's just talk about how beautiful this cover is. And then this is the cover <laughs> redo for the third one. It still makes me mad, but Anyways, anyways, um, after that I finished The Nine Lives of Christmas by Sheila Roberts. I picked up this book because my friend recommended the movie to me that was on the Hallmark Channel. Um, it's a Christmas story about some cats and some firefighters and different things. Um, the movie is really cute if you watch it. The book was pretty mediocre. It was kind of weird because it was told from the cat's perspective and it kept telling about like different ways that he's died in his past life, so it was just weird. But I mean, it wasn't horrible, but not my favorite book by any means. Um, after that, I finished Killing Me Softly by Aggie Lull. Uh, this book is a girl, um, if you look up Travel in Her Shoes, she's like a travel blogger and she put out a story that's a little bit of her background on how she kind of got into traveling and some things she's done, and then her journey to Kilimanjaro. I loved this book so much. It was inspiring that she went kind of from having nothing to just basically being like, I am going to travel and she made it happen, which I think is inspiring. And um, yeah, I definitely want to hike Mount Kilimanjaro and make it to the peak. That's something I've started talking about in my everyday life is that I want to do that and like work my way towards it. So getting to see her account of kind of what actually happens as you go up was really awesome. Uh, like one awesome point for me is because I'm vegetarian it was nice to know that most of the stuff that they cook you on the way up is vegetarian food so that kind of takes some stress off of me in that perspective I'm just hearing how like she trained and what was still hard and some different things was all very interesting so yeah thumbs up good job girl I want to see more books by you <laughs> After that, I finished Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham. So this is the autobiography of Lauren Graham from Gilmore Girls and Parenthood, uh, Parenthood, which I am currently watching on Netflix. This is great. If you're a Gilmore Girls fan, you have to pick this up. Uh, she goes through kind of filming her life, like growing up, and then filming the first Gilmore Girls, filming Parenthood, and then filming the revival, kind of an actual journal of filming the revival. So yeah, it's very funny, quick little read, totally worth it if you're a Gilmore Girls fan. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I tried to line it up for the picture, but I don't think I did very good. Oh, uh, let's see. After that, I finished listening to Born a Crime by Trevor Noah on audiobook. This was my favorite book of the whole year. Trevor Noah is really funny naturally. But getting to see his stories of growing up in South Africa was very eye-opening. Uh, you get to learn about the racial issues, about um, kind of the slums and crime and his family dynamics and like domestic abuse and so many subjects that I think a lot of us don't know about firsthand. So it's very important to read this type of stuff. Um, I did the audiobook, which is voiced by him, and he does amazing with voices, so I highly, highly recommend doing the audiobook version. And honestly, I think this is a book that just everybody should pick up and read. It's one of those that's important to learn about more than just your own life, and he does a perfect job of making it accessible and interesting and easy to read and addicting, and yeah, I loved it, so yay. Um, after that, I finished the third book. Blackheart with the horribly ugly cover. Um, 
Again, this is from the Curse Workers series by Holly Black. Won't give anything away besides the fact that I really loved it and it reminded me of how much I loved this series. I had totally forgotten how it ended, to be honest, and yeah, it was such a satisfying ending. So very glad that I did the reread. Um, after that, another reread, because I was trying to do five for the year, so the other one I ended up doing was Ghost Planet by Sharon Lynn Fisher. Uh, this book is one that I just repeatedly am telling people about because I think it is such an original, interesting book. It is about a, another planet that when people show up there, they get these, like, ghost figures, more or less, of people they know in their life that have died, like, one attaches to them, and they don't really know why. And it goes into, like, some scientific theories while there is still a narrative and stuff going on. My only complaint about this book is it should be three or four books, honestly. There's so much great material packed down. I think this is the first book she ever put out. So I understand that, like, trying to get your whole story out, but I wish someone would have signed her for way more. So they need to make a, a TV show or something off this, because it would go so many seasons and be so interesting and great. So, yeah, highly recommend this book for, honestly, everybody. There is a little bit of a romance undertone to it, but... It's like scientifically interesting and really original, so highly recommend that. And then my uh, short story that I was like, I'm gonna finish this because I really want to make it to 70 books was Throttle by Joe Hill and Stephen King. It is a motorcycle gang story, and it was just fun. It was an easy, quick little read, nice to finish off the year on. Uh, clearly, I love both of those guys, so yeah, always thumbs up to what they're doing. So, yeah, there we go. There is everything I finished. I um, will do like a goal video too, so I won't go into that now. Um, right now I'm reading Dark Matter, which is about quantum superpositions. So there's that. I am really liking it so far. And yeah, let me know how, what you finished in December, what you're reading now, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.